Hello from a very odd section of my bedroom. I decided to do a spring refresh, sort of, in probably the worst day because it had already been very nice and warm, the sun was out and literally today temperatures dropped so much and I just came down from going out with the babies to take them on a walk and I'm freezing so it is very cold but with that coldness I'm hoping this is going to be the last of the cold and today I want to do a bit of a spring capsule wardrobe maybe probably I'm not going to be showing all the pieces what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just going to go into my closet which I have a dungeon of a closet over there and pull up some pieces especially dresses and rearrange my rack because right now it's a hot mess I have a ton of different things that really don't belong there and I also want to focus on my shoes because I still have a lot of uh, shoes that are really more winter related so I've got like my boots and all that stuff all the stuff that I need to take out because we're not going to be using those anymore I live in Texas so cold weather is hopefully gone in the next few days and I'll probably just leave one or two jackets like very light jackets in here just in case so let's get right into it first things first I'm going to remove all of the things from the rack that I don't need there anymore including thicker jackets and I don't know I honestly don't even know what I have there anymore I used to have more of like my fall <laughs> capsule wardrobe that completely disappeared I have no clue what's left there so I want to go over that and then decide what I want to keep in this rack This is not a capsule wardrobe. This is just me grabbing the pieces from my closet that I am excited to start wearing again. So this is not going to be those like 30 pieces and like no. And also I'm not pulling, well I have a few t-shirts in here, but it is not everything that I want to wear or I'm not gonna be doing a capsule wardrobe, I don't think anytime soon. Maybe once it gets a little bit hotter, I will do a capsule wardrobe. I don't know, I've done them in the past, but I never really stick to them as good. So I'm not entirely sure. But at least whenever I have things laid out in my rack, I can see them and then I'm excited. I'm like, oh, I want to wear this, I want to wear that. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. I'm adding, I have now removed pretty much everything that was not supposed to be here anymore. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. There we go. I think you can see better now. You're not gonna be able to see me right now, but that's okay. So I've got a few, like I mentioned, a few pieces that I wanna keep just in case it gets chilly, including two jackets. Uh, well, this is my jacket. So three jackets technically, and then two blazers that I love to wear. This is one of my favorite blazers and I've used it so, so much. It's like the color is perfect to match with everything. It's taupe. And then another pretty lightweight one. This is black with a tiny bit of purple, I don't know if you can see, perfect. So these are my go-to whenever the weather gets a little bit chilly, but not enough for a jacket. And then I've got some skirts, some black pants that I always keep in here because I really wear them a lot. And then dresses. This past year was definitely the year where I discovered Hill House. It's a brand of dresses or clothing, and I'm in love. I'm obsessed with the brand, and I've been buying a lot of <clears throat> of her dresses since I discovered it last year literally around my birthday so all of these are Hill House with the exception of two like these are the only two actually no these are the only two that are not Hill House and the rest of these are Hill House and I've got one more that I want to put because does this not scream spring I mean it is so stunning I have a few pieces that I haven't used just yet so including this one which still has the tags on this is a small kids well not small an extra large kids this is a 12 11 12 and it is beautiful i loved the print of course it's very summery and springy i think really more spring i don't know it's really the same but i've got two that are brand new so this one and then this one and i purchased another one with butterflies it's coming in 
By the time I'm done with this video and this video is uploaded, I already have it. So I'm gonna add it to my rack once that arrives. It's also white with a lot of butterflies and it's very pretty, like butterflies and flowers and a lot of cute little things. So, got my rack here of my favorite pieces that I cannot wait to wear. I think I'm all set with the rack. Again, this is just more dresses and a few long sleeve tops, but I still have a lot of t-shirts and light sweaters that I would like to use, but I keep those folded either in my bedroom, which is up here, or I have another little kind of like rack where I keep my sweaters. So I know I'm gonna be using those, but realistically, things that I like to hang in my rack are here, are here all set and I love it. So with the beginning of that TJ Maxx dress that I bought, I really love it and the shade is just perfect. And then semi done by shade, I've got my Hill House dresses, starting from a short one and then all of these ones are long. And I've got a navy blue, a red one, then a pink one that I love. I got this randomly from Marshalls before uh, Valentine's and it's very, very pretty. So this is just like, I don't know, the brands that they sell at TJ Maxx cost me like 25, maybe $30 max, probably 25. And it's very beautiful. It's long, it's flowy, and it does have some smocking in the bag. So it helps a lot. And just one black dress and a long, a long sleeve dress I've had for years at this point. I got this from H&M when I was... I don't know, I was visiting Mexico one time and I found this and I really love it. And then a lot of long sleeve shirts, literally all of these are long sleeves, just... Honestly, I wear long sleeve year round, especially white, so I've got some white, some um, striped ones, so these are always in rotation in my closet. Then I've got a few tanks just to go with uh, lighter sweaters or maybe with one of the blazers. And then the blazers that I showed you and two longer skirts. So that is the rack, all done. I'm excited for all the pieces in here, but now let's focus on my shoe closet. I just started with the shoes and now I'm getting overwhelmed because I do not have the space in my closet. So far, I pulled three pairs that I wanna put in the closet. Um, some sandals and then well I guess two also sandals but with a little bit of a heel but the problem is I don't have a lot of space I was wanting to leave at least two pairs of boots up there including some combat boots but I think I'm gonna remove these ones and I'll just be keeping these ones from Vivaya I really love them they're very comfortable and they'll work if it's just a tiny bit chilly and I want to wear a little bit I don't know something more comfy but that's going to keep my feet a little bit warmer but not too much if that makes sense so i'm gonna take these ones out and then just keep at least this pair of boots and then i don't know because i have a lot of things that i want to put in this closet and i don't have any space i swear i need another one of this but i don't have any more space i think we could have done a better job at deciding where to put this but the modem of our internet is literally down there next to the closet so i have no more space and this is a smaller wall, so I don't think it would have fit. But anyway, let me get right into this, because I don't know what I'm doing with these shoes. I think this might be my most used pair of designer sandals, or in general, shoes. I don't have that many designer shoes. I think I have like seven pairs, maybe six, I don't remember. But these ones are my most used. I love them. I think they were a very, very good investment. Um, they are very pretty nude shade, a small uh, heel. They're very comfortable and they go with everything. This, yeah, they're my most used. And I say investment because it's definitely an investment. They're very expensive. But these I've used a lot. Comparing them to other very expensive shoes, like, I don't know, this very... Uh, longer or bigger heel from Chanel. These shoes are stunning, but they are very uncomfortable. I cannot wear them for more than like two hours. That's like not even walking really. They're very uncomfortable. They're very, um, very narrow and my feet are not even wide. So not the most comfy, comfy, but they're beautiful. So this is one that I'm like, 
I don't regret that I bought them because they're beautiful, but I almost never wear them, so I don't know. And then these ones I bought also a long time ago, and I don't use them as much because they are also very comfy on the heel, but the actual shoe itself, it's very rigid, it's very hard, it's very structured, and my feet hurt after a little while. They're stunning, so if you ever see me wearing this, know that my feet are in pain. <laughs> but anyway, I pulled these ones to go here in the sandals. The good thing about not boots is that definitely more shoes fit. fit. Oh my god, I can't even talk. And I have only that space left, which I do want to buy a pair of gold flats and probably also some pink ballerina flats that are probably gonna go there and that'll be it for my space um maybe and maybe some brown ballerets i'm not entirely sure just yet but definitely i have a few more shoes that i want to purchase for this coming basically already spring season but for sure one from some edelman that are going to be some beautiful gold ballet flats and then some pink also ballet flats probably from margot i haven't decided just yet but i have a lot of shoes i don't need any more but i don't have any gold flats and i don't have any pink ballerinas so you know you catch the drill i love shoes but let me get back into this because i forgot that i had more sandals that i want to put here i don't know what i'm going to do i seriously do not know what i'm going to do because it's not going to fit and I don't think I have any more space for more shoes. I, unfortunately, am not getting rid of any shoes. I kind of looked at everything and I put them back where they belong. Everything fit nicely. So all the boots that I had were able to fit where I... Oh my goodness, red! <laughs> where I had the shoes that I took off from, like, from the boxes to put up here. All of the heeled sandals. So all those boxes were empty. So I just went on and put them, all the boots put them back in those boxes, so they're still pretty good. So the only thing really that I'm missing that I'm not gonna be able to see are a few shoes that I keep under my bed in one of those enclosed little things. I don't know how to call them. I'll show you in a minute. So everything else that I rotate the most is gonna be here already, with the exception, of course, of the couple of pairs of shoes that I want to buy for this spring and summer. I'm not sure when I'm going to buy them, but I am definitely eyeing a pair from some Edelman and then from Margot. Maybe, maybe some that I saw from Amazon. They're like a dupe from, I think, a designer, the Alaya, Alia, Alaya, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, shoes that have, there are mesh flats and they have little like not crystals but like little something that are uh, silver all over the shoes realistically i would never buy a pair of shoes like that as original like a designer because i'm never almost going to use them i want them because i think they're cute and i think they would look cute with a few dresses and jeans i think i want them in a light blue i'll post a picture right here but i would never buy this as original because I'm not going to use them as much and I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a trend that I enjoy for maybe this spring and, f and summer, maybe a few years and then get rid of them if that. So I think those would be a good, a good option to buy them in a more affordable price just to see how I feel about them. But very trendy that I don't really ever buy trendy shoes except for those that really caught my eye. So yeah. I have to get rid of some clothes, that's for sure. I know I have to do some kind of downsize, especially in my, my um, dresses, not my heel house, but my dresses in general. I have a lot of dresses that either don't fit me the best, I don't feel very comf comfortable or confident in them, maybe they're too tight and I'm not used to wearing tight clothes anymore, and maybe a few jeans that might not fit me anymore. <laughs> so I need to Take a look at that. I think I'm gonna end this video tomorrow. I'm gonna come back and do, cause we're running out of light. It's almost dark outside. So I think I'm going to just do that uh, tomorrow. 
but before we fully finish the day I want to take a look at my books in a more sprinkling approach and I want to swap around the, the books that I already read or books that I was thinking more for like fall and then swap them for the ones that I'm very excited to read for spring. So let me go ahead and show you real quick what I did here which wasn't much. I hope this is not too bad because I'm literally picking up the camera with the tripod. So at the very top, whenever you take a look at the closet or whatever you call it, I guess bookshelf, I've got two just empty boxes of records from of course the best band in the world, uh, the Beatles, and then a single from McCartney. This is a box set that I got of McCartney 1, 2, and 3. So they're all empty, the boxes. I have the records elsewhere. And then on the very top, section of my little closet I put the Bibaya boots and then a few of the heeled shoes so Bibaya, some ballerets, some Ferragamo and the Chanel's and then on the bottom we've got another pair of heeled shoes that are enclosed those are very much shoes that I wear to church so I wanted to keep them there available and then here I've got all my open sandals with the exception of the Chanel's that are the enclosed little, I don't know, slides? No, I don't know how you call them. I don't know, those shoes. Mary Jane's? No, not Mary Jane's. I don't know how you call them, but those Chanel's. And then I've got the Dior sandals that I love. Those are from Turi Birch that I absolutely love. They're very pretty. They have, uh, they're like strappy. They're very comfy too, which I absolutely love. So they're pink with some yellow and white very stunning and then this might be my favorite after the Dior designer shoes these are from Jimmy Choo and they have this beautiful croc style leather of course not crocodile it's uh, just regular uh, leather and it has this stunning gold design which I very much love I love gold shoes that's why I want to buy a pair of gold uh, flats and then on the bottom, I put my sandals, starting from another pair of Terry Birch. Those are like Birkenstock-inspired Terry's. And then I've got some pink, um, my goodness, uh, Birkenstocks that I bought last year. And then two slides from Terry Birch, my beautiful Mary Janes from Ivaya. And then just my regular flats and tennis shoes at the very bottom. So that's pretty much everything. So basically, we just altered the top three sections and I really love how everything ended up looking and I've got all my shoes that I'm going to be wearing for spring ready to go so now let's go ahead and take a look at the books. <laughs> 